Today, I will show you how you can all become artists. During the day, I'm doing research at MIT about healthcare, sustainability, how to use optimization, machine learning, and artificial intelligence. And I teach this as well. But during the night, I transform into a storyteller and an AI artist. And I will show you how yourself, you can also do the same. Let me get started with a first visualization. So this is the first representation of AI I want to show you. We talk about AI constantly. And it's everywhere in the computers, in our mind, in our conversations. But it's never in our environment. We never see AI with our eyes. So I wanted to show you how we can make AI tangible with this first video of how AI would embed into the walls of MIT. So how can we do this? I'm going to show you the whole process. My goal is to show you how we can co-create together and with AI some art that represents our community. So let's get started. I want to talk about the theme of imagination in action because it's beautiful. And I want to use different tools that are available. So I know, for instance, that I have the mid-journey model available that has very nice visuals. And you can see that the version 4 to the version 5 evolved, meaning you also need to know how to talk properly to the model and understand how they react to a given prompt. I also appreciate a lot the DALI model from OpenAI, and you can see that it has a very different style. At that point, this is your job to figure out which model you want to use, how to talk to the model properly. It turns out I really like the AI creations, and I think I discovered the color of imagination. And I find this to be extremely creative from the AI perspective, because this is the combination of thousands of images all together, and how people have created in the past imagination, how we represent this. And I really connect with this, because it feels imagination in my mind with all those colors and ideas forming all together. So let's get started with this. I want to put a few more words to react and see how different textures would embed with this same prompt. So I just add one word, and you can see galaxies, pollen, or even pure art. I really appreciated the pure art. So I selected one of my favorite images and decided to enlarge it, because so far it's just a square. So you can use the outpainting tool in DALI, for instance. And I went to this image with this overall creation that really feels like me imagining the world. But there is a problem. There is no hair. I have long hair. Fortunately, I can also use the model to refine the pixels and, and have something that represents who am I. But I want to go over even a step further. I want to animate this. So there exist a lot of tools. It's about to knowing which tools are available. And just using a mobile app, I can now animate my image. So I went from a text, outpainted it, and now created a whole multimodal experience for you tonight. This is the first beauty of this artificial intelligence. It's available to all of us. But I want now to connect the art back to our community here. So far, it was just my own thinking of imagination in action. So I can use in the workflow ChatGPT, for instance. I want ChatGPT to help me craft a prompt. And I describe the situation, ask ChatGPT to formulate an immense prompt that is fantastic. And I just copy paste it directly with no modification to mid journey, and this is what I get. That's quite impressive. And I do the same thing with DALI. Again, extremely colorful, so many different elements everywhere. And now I want to keep building and putting some more personal touches. I prefer the DALI version, but I also prefer the style, the micro style of Mid Journey. But I wish I could create this with Mid Journey, but I don't know exactly how to do. Fortunately, there is the function describe in Mid Journey. You can take an image, and Mid Journey will tell you the prompts that could generate the same image. So this is sort of the reverse function of your image. And then I can generate one image for each and select the one I like the most. So you can learn how to talk to the model thanks to this function. And you can iterate and develop your own understanding and intuition of how do we talk to those AI models. 
I like the fourth one a lot because it has a lot of space for me to keep building up. And I like the different lights intertwined. And then I decided to just append a few more elements. Here we are, to, we are here to talk about superpower. Let's see how the AI model visualizes superpower with this overall conference. Let's see also how imagination in action would be represented. And you can see this whole flow of imagination in the assembly. And you can also make some legacy to Frank Gehry and see how Frank Gehry would be and feeling in this state. I love Van Gogh, so I also wanted to see how Van Gogh would imagine our conversation today. And also wanted to see how they would collaborate together, Frank Gehry and Van Gogh. <laughs> Very interesting. So this is also the power. You can really combine and merge different representations. So your imagination is on your only limitation here. And I want to show you how it feels to create so many images. To get there, I actually created thousands and thousands of prompts and images. And my screen just saturated everywhere. And I wanted to show you in one image what it feels like to generate so many things. And that's the one image. You're saturated, all these screens, these lights. And then still, you have to keep going. You have your goal. And this is this light in the middle that I want to follow. And to get to this image, this is also the process behind. <laughs> Hundreds of images to get to really find the one that I want. It comes back to the art of curation. AI can generate super fast, but it's your job also to select what you like. Your intuition will guide you. But now this was a whole co-creation perspective. I want to show you maybe a step further. Can we have AI to auto automate all this? And let's see. I was very surprised by those recent discoveries that AutoGPT can just execute tasks by itself and have different sub-agents. Very impressive. And also an environment where you can give some characteristics, personalities to different agents and they will start developing human behavior. I found this, wow, this is very surprising. Can I try this myself and create an autonomous AI art university? So I created an environment where all my agents had a different personality. They were students, professors, faculty, different random people coming. And I gave them personalities, different majors, and I gave them also homework. I asked them to create a picture for the theme, the superpower of imagination in action. And they started to discuss, create, and those are their creations. No intervention on my side. It's just what they created in the environment. So the architecture student created a very futuristic world with harmonious nature and city. And a very creative student decided to embed all this creative process as a human head. I also created the world best prompt engineer as a character in my university. And it became some very highly detailed, hyper uh, colorful creations. I also asked the professor to create something. And the professor just decided to create a portrait of all the students in the AI art university. So I found this also very surprising. And in the end, because I believe collective intelligence is super powerful and beautiful, I asked all the students and professors to collaborate in this autonomous AI art university. And this is what they pr produced, a mix of styles and colors and different representations. And even asked them to take all the fun facts of every one of you here and to make one picture that would represent all of us here tonight. And this is what they create, a beautiful tree of life with so many elements intertwined and so many identities. Another exercise I gave them, can you create some new version of the Stata building? And all of them started to create so many different styles. I found it to be extremely beautiful and interesting. So after that, I was thinking, AI is very impressive by itself. But how can AI help me realize myself and help us become happier? And I think it's an important question for all of us. And I believe in particular that we can have a new goal. How can we use AI to make the world a better place? How can we use this exponential technology, the superpower of all of us here tonight, to really go faster and solve pressing concerns in, for instance, hunger, poverty, climate change? And I'm working hard on this and teaching this at MIT. How can we use optimization, machine learning, all those AI models to accelerate our process to build beautiful solutions for our world? And I also think it's very important 
to collaborate on all of this and, being, have, and have all this imagination together and make it very exponential. I believe appreciating our world is beautiful. If we can dream, it's because we are born and here and being able to all talk together, learn from each other. So let's keep this with us. And let's preserve our planet as well. It's a very important thing. And I want to let you with this final creation, one of my favorite ones. A crazy process. If you want to learn more about this, come and talk to me. And I'm happy to involve you now in more creative process. Please be creators, please change the world, and please realize your dreams. Thank you.